Spartans! What is your profession? Yes, people, another edition of Nights in the Roundtable Discussions, where we discuss all sports all the time. Got my guys, The Truth, Tooth, and Mr. K.A. with me. How are we doing, people? Feel good. Ready to go. Not too good. Not too good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. And as you know, before we start, as usual, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe on the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and make sure you share it to your friend so they can tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend because this is the biggest channel right now it's going to grow it's going to get bigger and better the content is going to be bigger and better so much knowledge so much banter so make sure you jump on it and we are going into football talk we haven't done a little one like this for a while um Got two for Mr. K.A. with us. We haven't seen Mr. K.A. in a little while after he disappeared. Just, just before we go on, sorry, just before we go yeah. on, um, the results of uh, we did um, the predictions for, was it last week? Yeah, we did the predictions yeah. for last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, TJ got his first win underneath his belt. Um, he, got the yes. perfect res- he got the perfect result for the Liverpool Man United game. Oh, um, I told you. Close- yeah, it was a close one. We all got the we all we all got the scores right, apart from the. I think it was a Chelsea. Was it the Chelsea one that we got wrong? No, we got the Chelsea one right. There's one that we got wrong, mm. and um, yeah, but you got you won overall by getting the Liverpool and Man United correct perfect result, which was a nil nil. About so time, bro. Is that his first win. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time, bro. It's about time. We've been lagging behind for so long. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's uh, bleed to lose, man. Listen, listen, hey, 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 hey. Listen, let's not be talking that talk. We're nowhere near there yet. But as we, as you mentioned that game, we might as well get get straight into it. The Liverpool Manchester United nil nil at Anfield. Mm. Uh, the truth, go for it, man. Oh boy, what a! Well, you got your wish. You did say you would love United to stink up the joint. Um. It was a it was a strange game to to put it because you have a feeling that United were holding back, um, Liverpool were huffing and puffing, but you know they haven't scored a goal for I think they said over four hundred minutes of football now, mm. <laughs> so you know you know they're struggling going forward. Um, United had the best chances of the game, but they never really stuck it into them. If you know what I'm saying. In hindsight, for you as a United fan, do you feel it was two points struck for you? Do you feel it was an opportunity missed for United? Or are you more than happy with the point? Before the game, I w- as you know, I would have said I'm happy for them to go and get a nil-nil. I predicted a nil-nil. And in hindsight, looking at the game, watching it live, we miss we missed the trick. 100% Mr. Tricks. Not so much in the first half. The first half, we were awful. Absolutely yeah. awful. Um, couldn't pass the ball to save our lives. It was terrible, terrible to watch. In the oh. second half is where I believe we missed the trick because yeah. we dominated that second half. After that first half an hour, Liverpool, Firmino had those two chances. They yeah. were dog shit. Yeah. They were absolute dog shit. And Oli bottled it in the second half. I have no issue... With the first half, I in terms of the fact that we were just very bad, the players were just very bad. Yeah. Um, going to Anfield is not easy. They hadn't lost until 2017. We'll get into what happened with Burnley. Oh. Um, so I fully was. Let me respect, so respect Anfield, respect the level of the game, and respect that they are champions in the first half. To get to halftime nil nil, I was more than delighted from what we put up. Second half, I was fuming, absolutely fuming. And it's because we, because Oli bottled it, we didn't go for it. How Marcus Rashford finished that game, I don't know. <laughs> because he was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. And the team selection, I had no issue with. I think I said, I called that team selection. Yeah. The only problem was, is that I said Tony would have been through the middle. Rashford, people, listen, I don't want to bash my players because we've been going on a good run, but Rashford is not a centre forward. 
Mm-hmm. He's not intelligent enough to be a centre forward. Yeah. He hasn't got the attributes to play centre forward. So why he was playing through the middle, I don't know. He was up against Henderson and Fabinho. Now, people seem to forget that Fabinho played in the back for a lot of his career. At Monaco, he was playing as he could play as centre back and he was playing as a right back. So him playing at the back doesn't isn't as easy as people would think it was. Jordan Henderson, that frigging donkey, is dog shit and he should have got raped. And I think if Tony was there to play there, he would have. Trent, what did I say to you? I cannot wait for Rashford to get hold of Trent. Even though he stuck Tony out there, mm. Tony against Trent isn't the same as Rashford against Trent. It's not. Because Rashford would terrorise him with the pace. Tony's more close control, agility. We saw him salad him once in the game, but apart from that, that was it. But we just didn't do it. Bruno should have came off. He was awful. Another poor performance against a big big side. Uh Another poor performance against a big side. Donny should have played in that game. Ball retention is what we needed in that game, right? Forget about Donny, man. He's he's (laughs) not... Just forget about him, man. Free Donny. Free yeah, Donny, yeah. Donny them man there got man got man hold captive, bruv. Like the Nigerian <laughs> pirates, bruv. Like I'm telling you, bruv. Free Donny, <laughs> free Donny, bruv. Like Gunwood should have came on a lot earlier as well. Gunwood should have come on a lot earlier. Nigerian pirates, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, Bruno had that chance. Pogba had that chance that you should have mm. scored. But I think if we would have made the changes earlier and got those players on, we could have won the second half. And that's yeah. why overall, after the game, I thought it was two points dropped. Even though yeah. in the beginning I said no, no. Once I saw that after half an hour, Liverpool had nothing. At the end of that, I say two points dropped in that game for me. So it's annoying because we didn't... As I said, it would have been massive. We would have celebrated the fact that we would have destroyed Liverpool's record and um, as we know, Burnley have gone on and done that finally. Yeah. But it was two tro- points dropped by Ole. And I think it just w- goes to show that Ole isn't willing to risk it, nor is he tactically inept to do to change things during a football game. Um, I'm just going to bring up a stat here mm. that um, I've got with United. And this, this is why, you know, um, Jason McAteer said about United's false position. Mm. Um, in games against the big six, I know, you know, I'm calling them the big six because they are the six biggest clubs in the league. Mm. You know, their position doesn't rec- um, rec- necessarily show that since, mm. you know, we're lagging behind in 10. But they are the big, they are the six biggest games, you know, mm. that's who you're going to play. Mm. So in United's games against the big six, um, one goal scored, and this out of five games, no, one goal, yeah, one goal score, which was a penalty against Spurs. Um, they've got two losses and three nil-nil draws. That you know, and four of those games are at home. Exactly, exactly. Is, and this is is that yeah, possible? Is that is that? Can you win the title? No. With games against your fellow rivals. No. Like that. No. No. We can't. Uh, and this is the thing to me. Listen, we're top. I celebrate being top because I, <laughs> I forgot what it felt like to be on top of the table <laughs> past September. Right? I, felt, I forgot what it felt like. Yeah. So, yeah. of course, I'm happy. And, of course, because we're in that position, we have a shot. Do I believe that we have a shot? No chance in hell. Not with mm. that manager. Anyone else? Listen, as I said, if we had Poch... The truth, uh, Mr. K.A. know me. I am the most pessimistic person in the world. I have no optimism whatsoever, <laughs> especially when it comes to football. Poch, I would have been a little bit more. Poch, I would have been a little bit more confident that we could make top four if we were in this position, right? <laughs> <laughs> but with Ole, I don't think we can. The run that City are, are on right now, and the fact that they still have players to come back. I know they've got a tough, tough February, yeah. but. Um, I still think it's, City, it's there for City to win. Liverpool, as bad as they are, they're still in it. With all the injuries that they had from September, I know they got most of their players back, but even still, they're still in it. Spurs are still in it. Leicester, who we'll talk about, are in it. No one can write them off, off, write them off either. Do you know what I mean? So can we win it based on the form of those big six and the fact that we've got to go away to, what is it, five of them? Yeah, five of them we've got to go away to. 
Um, no chance, not with this manager. No chance but, in hell. That being said, though, surely Liverpool, without Van Dijk for a whole season, probably their best player, you would say. Um, Man City, KDB is now out for four, four to six, six weeks. Mm. Um, Aguero, you know, I don't know if he's ever going to come gonna back. Come back. Yeah, I don't think he will. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's, he just... If he's if he comes back and hits the ground running, then I think Man, Man City started to lose. But I just don't see him not with all the injuries he's had, not with the COVID he's recently got. Um, Jamie Vardy's having surgery, so he's out for a few weeks. Mm. Surely, surely, if United put their foot on the gas now, it is theirs to lose because your two biggest rivals have their best player or players out for the foreseeable future. So surely, if United could get a run together now towards, let's say, April, they have to be in contention. And you would have to think, this is your, this is your opportunity. They have to take it now. This is, this, sorry, okay, go on. No, I was going to say, but you can, you can say that for any team, really. I think the league is quite open. I think the people up there, maybe the top four or five, I, can't remember, I haven't seen the league recently, um, but top four or five, it could be anyone's game as long as anyone can. No, so, it's not anyone's it, game. In terms, I think if look at the city, they were playing so poorly. All of a sudden, they put a run together. But but that's what I'm saying. And KDB's they're back up out. There. But that's what I'm saying. KDB's but it's, it's, out. City have got replacement. It won't it won't be the same. But they've got you've got players no. who can play there. They won't be able to assist the way he does. But they they've got no one. They've got no one that could fill in KDB's position. Um, they won this title with KDB two years ago. But that season, they had the solid um, company who was their leader. They had Dan David Silver, Silver mm. who was immense that season and is more than a standing for KDB. At this moment in time, Phil Foden is nowhere near KDB. Bernardo Silva is nowhere near KDB. Um, but the, 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 they just need someone to do it for one or two games and then bring their next guy. Nah, they can They've nah, got the squad he's, to do that. He, Nah, KDB. No, this is what I said, Mr. K. Not to replace him, but to do no, 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 no. I know, I know what you're saying, but this is what I was saying about they've got a stupid February schedule. It's mm-hmm. stupid. I think they play. I think they in, in February. Don't uh, quote me on this, but I think in February they play Arsenal, they play Tottenham, and I think they've got Liverpool. Hold on, they've got right Liverpool right soon. They got Liverpool. Yeah, they, soon. Yeah, they, yeah, they've got Liverpool. Got Liverpool. Playing, though. They're not the same juggernaut that they were last year. I know, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, without KDB and Aguero, those are the two. Yep. Would you say old guard left for City yeah, that can drag them through it and know how to mm-hmm. win a title? So without them two, they're gonna be weakened. And I'm saying, if they had the run like they, uh, if they had a run where it was just like, oh, uh, which they had where they got that like, Sheffield United, like Brighton or that, then we would not be saying the same thing. But in mm. February, when you've got to play three out of the big six. Mm-hmm. Right, without Kevin De Bruyne and, and Aguero, like I'm not saying that they can't do it, but it's gonna be a struggle. Of it's course, gonna, yeah, their defense is solid up. Their defense oh, yeah, yeah. has been the immense is, like, last month or so, but it's going forward. So, like, rem- remember, people people are saying about Liverpool not being with Van Dyke. Van Dyke's not the reason they're not scoring, exactly. Van Dyke's <laughs> well, not the reason he, that they're not Van Dyke not being you, there is, you, yeah, is you mess up say, the equilibrium yeah. of the team, though. Yeah, yeah oh, come on, come on, boys, like come on, boys, come on, boys. It has no, 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 no. Listen, it has. If they were if they were leaking goals, then yes, Van Dyke, bro, they've been keeping clean sheets. That doesn't change the fact that they're not scoring, right? Like, no, well, what it no is, but they're conceding they're dumb goals. And... No, no, it's not even a dumb goal they concede. What's happening is because. <laughs> Because Fabinho has dropped back into the fence and because... Crappy this is Henderson, a part of it. This is all part. That's why I said equilibrium. Yeah, because, because they're having back. to shift around people. And, but, and create, but that's, but that's, but that's Liverpool, though. In, in terms of Man City, you were talking about KDB, who's a creative force. And he's someone that's been having to play every single game because even Pep now recognises his um his the importance. Team, mm-hmm. yeah. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. he got you know he unfortunately got injured because... I would I mean, say yeah. it's... All the, uh, I won't say because of all the games that he's played, but Pep would have loved to rest KDB. Remember, the, remember those seasons for all fantasy fans. No one ever knew what to do with Man City because you know we knew mm. Pep was going to be rotating. It's this still season, the same, Pep, though, man. no, he hasn't rotated well, KDB. Well, apart from like KDB, apart from KDB like that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Mm, but the thing is KB, K, KDB, there's a reason why Pep was leaking KDB, KDB out of games because KB, KDB is injury prone. 
Uh-huh. He is injury prone, so he KDB yeah. is guaranteed to miss at least a month in the season with some form of injury. It happens every uh-huh. single season. They're never but that big though. The injuries they're not that big, but he's guaranteed to like miss a month. Like he missed like two, three weeks to a month. But the thing is, in recent times, he's had David Silva to cover him. Now he uh-huh. doesn't have that. So you're having in midfield. You got Rodri, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, and um, Foden. As the truth said. They're not KDB. They're not David Silva. So that's why we're saying, not saying that City can't still come out and win all them games in February, but Mm -hmm. it's going to be a struggle compared to years gone by. But I 100 hear what you're saying. They could still find a way to get through because they have a coach that knows how to adapt, especially when it comes to moving players around. Uh But we'll see what happens. Keep, 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 keep keeping the clean sheet and they just need one Mm -hmm. goal. Of course, of course. But truth to answer your question, it uh-huh. is the perfect time for United to try and go with a run and win the title. Where it's it's COVID has affected the league massively, right? Uh-huh. So it's as we can see, it's all up and down, it's all up for grabs. So it's the perfect time. But there's two things that I believe stop United from winning the title. The first thing we've already the both of them we've already mentioned. The first thing is having to go away to five of the six club, you know, four of the uh, four of the five clubs. That yeah. are so called big six. We gotta go away to four of them. We got Arsenal next week, Saturday. We gotta go away to Chelsea. We gotta go away to Spurs. And we gotta go away to City. That's the first thing. And Ollie's record is awful against the big clubs. That's the first thing. The second is Ollie himself. Ollie himself is probably the biggest reason <laughs> why we will not win the league. Because we got a manager that doesn't know what he's doing. He's freestyling his way through this. And he's just lucky that A, all the other teams are flopping and haven't hit the high standards that they're used to. And B, that we've got players that can bail him out all the time. Because Oli must know some obvious man that's doing this. <laughs> all this judge on all these other teams to try and get him there. But <laughs> it's the perfect time for us to win it. But will we? Nah. For those two reasons, that's why I say no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we just have to see it come March, April, see where every team is. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If we if we get to March, April, and we're still and we're still there, then I have to retract my statement. But as of right now, I don't believe we can, we can win it. But we're in the position where in which we're in it, we can fight for it, and it's why not? Why can we not do it? Especially when we got that man in the background in our team. Who has been playing outstanding? Playing well at the moment, yeah. That's the, the past this is, month. This Go is on. why I mentioned. Um, this is why I mentioned. You know, right now because um, as we said, the injuries that the teams have is right now, and then just before the Europe com- competition start again. So I think right now is more important than looking ahead to March. I don't think as a United team they can look ahead to March and say, "Oh, if we're there, I'm." I think they need. I think United need to put their foot down right now. And be like, this is our title run from here until when Europe oh, oh, starts. Well, 100%. So my whole thing is now, now that we're here and what Europe starts in what, two weeks time back in Europe, what, in two, three weeks time yeah. or whatever, from now till then, we've got to put our foot down. And as, yeah. long, as, as long as we're first or second before our yeah. first leg in the Europa League, if we're first or second in, the, in, in that time, the Europa League then becomes a reserve team thing. Yeah. We've got to push for the title. Of we course. can't afford it's not it's not in years gone past where we're already out of it and we're just battling for top four and it's like, oh we need to win a trophy. It's yeah. a case of Europa League get puts in the back burner. We gotta go for the title and if we're still in the FA Cup after tomorrow, that yeah. can be a that 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 to me comes second. Yeah. The Europa League then becomes last because yeah. if we're in the title race the Europa League is no longer needed purely because if we're in a title race, we should make top four. Yeah. So Champions League football is confirmed. The only reason why I ever want Europa League football is if we need to get into the... It's because we need to get in the Champions League and we need a trophy. Oh. But that becomes that becomes the third most important trophy if by then, when we go against Real Sociedad, we're first or second in the league, we need to push for it. The league is the priority yeah, now I agree. and everything else comes after. And as I said, when we got 
this man in the background performing, when we got Eric Bai performing, um, Luke Shaw, I don't know what he's been smoking recently, why like he's <laughs> like he's been absolutely fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I've criticised him a lot, called him yeah. Fat Shaw and all the rest of it, but I give credit <laughs> when credit's due. And those three players have been the most outstanding throughout the past couple of months. And okay. to this day, Paul Pop was still not getting the credit that he deserves. Man them saying, he oh, won't. he's... <laughs> But man, them, man, them are saying, "Oh, he he realized that he can't be a diva, diva, so he has to buckle down." You got you got man, them saying, "Oh, yeah, his ego got bruised, so now Bruno bruised his ego, so that's why he's performing." All these man's chatting shit, bro. Like, why can't people just give the man the credit that the you man's are. playing well? Yeah, Unfortunately, again, still not playing his preferred position. Still, well, when I say he's not playing his preferred position still not given the freedom to play in his preferred position. He's still playing the double, pip, double pivot, but he's our most, he's, he's our best player. On talent, yeah, right he's our now. best player. I, he I, can do I, anything. I do want to mention, I do want to mention Pogba's form. Um, he scored, I think it's, is it three, uh, is it three out of four games he scored the winning goal? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And, um, um, but, it, but it got, um, dates back earlier to that. I thought, I thought mm. ever since he's come back from his injury, He's been slowly and slowly. Well, when when he came back, he was coming off the bench and all the rest. Yeah, of it, even so, but even when he yeah. was coming coming off the bench, he was changing game. I remember against mm. um, Red Bull. Yeah, I know when he came on, it came completely he changed. Assist, he has assists for the mm. penalty, and mm. you know he's pushing the team forward. Um, so his form has been huge for you. Now I want to I want to just ask you. Yeah, he scored some big goals. Yeah, he scored some huge goals. That goal against Fulham was was pretty big for you guys. Um. I want to mention, I just want to ask you how and why has his form turned around, so to speak? Like, we know he's had the quality, but what's changed? I'm seeing a different Paul Pogba in terms of demeanour, attitude and that, that we have seen before. What has changed? What has, you know? Don't get me wrong. Some of the criticism that he's received, probably he's probably heard it and has probably made him say to himself, you know what, I need to make a couple of men shut their mouth like Graham Sooners. Like, I need to make Sooners will never man, shut his mouth. I, I, I need to make man now, but Sooners is quiet. Like, don't you know if Sooners, Carragher, all them pussios are quite quiet now? They ain't got <laughs> nothing to say about Pogba, right? Yeah. Like, so I think that I think also what it is is that he's just like, you know what, I want to play football. So like, I just want to play football. And if you look at what's been happening in games, right? And purely because it's because we go behind in a lot of games. I love it. So he gets, he then says, do you know what? Fuck it. Let me go forward. Once Paul Popper goes further forward, instead of playing in the double pivot, right? Okay. You see games completely change. Bruno, I'm not his biggest fan. Since he's come, yes, he's made a difference. Not the difference that everyone's going on like he's made, because that's not been it, because half of it has been frigging penalties, <laughs> right? So he hasn't made that much of an impact, but he has. But Paul is levels above him in all departments. The only thing that probably Bruno does better than Paul is score goals because he's got that goal scoring instinct about it. Apart from that, he doesn't do nothing better than him. Absolutely nothing. But he's buckled down, he's moved further forward and he's just enjoying playing football. And the final thing is that he's got a team that's a lot better than what's been around him in previous years, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, remember, this guy was playing with frigging Pereira Fucking mayonnaise, Lingard, Fellaini. like all these, like Messi Fellaini, Lingard. F Fellaini, all these shit guys, bro. And now he's got a midfield where he's got past Fred, and he's got Bruno, and he and he's got a little bit more quality. He's got Tony, he's got Cavani, he's got Rashford, he's got Gunwood. He's got more quality around him, and he hasn't got um he hasn't got a frigging building block up front in Lukaku. He's got someone that actually got he's got oh, strikers Lukaku's that move. doing bits, bro. Like he's doing bits, but he still can't he's score against the big teams in Italy. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> he's, he's doing, doing bits, bro. But you can't, you can't do, you can't see st his goal scoring record against man them. All the top teams in Italy is abysmal. Just like anywhere else he's been, any top teams he doesn't oh, turn up. Is playing with ten men when Lukaku when he plays against the big teams, and you lot can go and check the records because it's there. I remember I told Truth last season. I think he only yeah. scored against one of the big teams once. <laughs> in Italy last season, bro. So don't tell me about Lukaku until he, until he starts scoring against the big teams. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Man there, man there. Yo. 
hey, I've got a duck out, bruv. The Chinese restaurant closes in 10 minutes, yeah? But mm. just my two cents on, on everything that's been said so far. Bruv, that Pogba goal, bruv, it was the wind. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is the wind. That was the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, yeah. Hey, peace, peace out, brother. Catch you on the next Days, one. Man. Yeah, yeah, Tiff. Um, shit, that's hilarious, bro. When he was at that problem ago, I thought he was about to say it was like a worldie or screaming. That's what I thought like, as well. Gas about the goal. That's <laughs> what I thought as well. But um, yeah, he's got he's got he's got strikers that actually move. So when he looks up and wants to play that 30, 40 yard pass, he can. If he wants to play short, he can. And he's just been released. Remember when Ole first came. And Pogba was playing number 10. Yeah. And he was the top top goal scorer, top assist assist assister for us in yeah. that season. We're seeing we're seeing something like that from him now, right? Because he's like the shackles have been released. And as yeah. I said, we're gonna see a lot, it's gonna be different when we go away to the big sides because there's a little bit of disrespect. Like Pogba's been playing balls out for the past couple of months, but you put him out on the right hand side against Liverpool. Like there's no respect there. Like a, pe- a player of I his think, quality shouldn't be playing out there. Like, I, I, I don't think. I don't think. This is, I just think that's just Oli's lack of um, lack of football knowledge. Because what Oli's saying is that Pogba's playing so well, I can't leave him out. He relies on individual quality, so he just said, "Let me just stick Pogba on the pitch." But um, Pogba, bro, but, but Pogba's not John O'Shea, bro. He's not a utility player. He's not there to just just, just shoehorn. <laughs> yeah, John, John O'Shea's a legend. Don't be wrong, but he's not. You can't shoehorn a player like that in. I'm sorry, but so Bruno sure. out there. So, so Bruno can't do there. that. So oh, can't I, do that. He's not. I know. He's not, he's I know. not gonna. I know because you know, Bruno's the manager. It's Bruno FC. That's what it is. Like, <laughs> Bruno's in charge. But my whole thing is, is that that's 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 a bit of disrespect, and that's part of the reason, along with the disrespect from the fans. And the ambitions of Pogba, why he's still leaving at the end of the summer. But do you do you think he will? If United were to win the Premier League, do you think he would still leave? Oh no, 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 no. no if we, he, if, he, will if, ta- he will take his. his if if we win the league, he's not going to go. But he has ambitions and he wants to do things. Now, mm. there's been a lot of. The thing is, PSG is looking like where he's going to go, purely because Real Madrid ain't got no money, mm-hmm. Barcelona ain't got no money, mm-hmm. Bayern Munich aren't interested. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't think Juve have enough money. Juve to... don't have no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they want uh, they want to get Ronaldo out. That's the yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking at the wages, but, Juve um, haven't yeah. had money in a while. They they save up all their pennies for that one big transfer, mm, and yeah, then the rest is all freeze, bro. It's true. It's true. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's true. But um, so it looks like if he's gonna go anywhere, it's PSG, and then it's just a case of do you want to stay United under Ole and keep like and pro- pro- probably underachieve. Or do you go to PSG and try and bring them a Champions League? And you're back in France as well. And the biggest thing is, you'll probably have fans that will appreciate you and appreciate your quality. And a manager that's not going to disrespect you by putting you out on the right wing against a big club, but actually play you in the position that you want to play. Well, another quick know. question. Um, Yo, what's your, for, talking about the title earlier on, what's mm-hmm. your thoughts on Cavani? Um, do you think, oh. he, you think he, he can lead you guys? Do you think, or do you think he should be? Leading the leading the front line, or listen, listen. I don't think they should use him. Basically, listen. You see, George of the Jungle, yeah. Like, I ain't got an issue with him, but should he be start? Should he be the main man for us? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand his quality in terms of his movement is very good. Um, he's that fox in the box, um, so he'll score the goals that probably Martial won't score. If you know what I mean, but yeah, his IQ is so much better than Martial. Yeah, obviously yeah. But he's been playing longer as well. But he's been yeah. playing longer and the different types of strikers. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But he, is he the answer? No, um, I'd still rather see Tony there. But I have no issue with Cavani coming off the bench in them big games. As I don't have no um, issue with Cavani playing up front in a game like um, uh-huh. again like Fulham. Like Fulham, I haven't got no issues with him playing up front in those games. That doesn't bother me at all. But in the big games, I don't think he has enough to cause defenders problems. Uh-huh. Uh, in the Premier League, you need that pace. And that's the one thing he doesn't have. Yeah, he chases the ball. Yes, he's got that football IQ and yes, his movement. But is it enough to cause defenders problems? 
that at the top, top level? Uh, I don't think so. But can he help us to win a title? Absolutely. That experience, the amount of goals that he has scored and the fact that um, he, he's a winner. He wants to win. So he can help um, uh, us win the title. But can he be the main man? I don't think so. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I just wondered. Um, just, um, just finally, tomorrow's game. Um, for me, this is huge. The reason why, the reason why, because uh, KA remember this and you should remember this, 2008, we were going for the title. Mm. Um, and then we had, I think we were five points clear. Yeah. I Was think, it? I think we were either five Are you points Are talking about eight, clear. nine or seven, eight? No, seven, eight, seven, eight. Seven, eight, the that, yeah. Yeah, the year that we challenged. Ah, uh, the um, hard group special. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I, I can't remember if we were five points clear or four points clear, but it doesn't matter. We were five or four points clear. And we went into the game against Birmingham. And, you know, we knew Eduardo broke his leg, Galas mm. thrown through a strop. And then mm. I think we went five points clear, but United had like two games in hand. Mm. Then it came to an FA Cup game between us two. And what, Oh, that's... that's yes. Is that when we played um, Fabio and Rafael in midfield? Is it that no, game? No, no, no. Oh. No, you guys played a strong team. You guys played your strongest team. Mm. So you guys watered the pitch and then you had Nani doing those kick-ups. And his head is on. I forgot who tried to flip in rugby tackle him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, um, so that game, Wenger decided to rest, his, rest the team, rest the players. But Ferguson, being the shrewd genius that he was, knows that momentum is everything. And, you know, getting a victory over your rivals was huge. So Ferguson played a very, very strong side. And you guys destroyed us 4-0. Mm. And... For United, it was huge because it, it gets momentum, mm. it gets momentum, and it gives a mental victory over your rival. So that being said, going into tomorrow's game, <clears throat> going into the um, game tomorrow, how big is it in your eyes? Is it something where you see as, oh, it's just the FA Cup. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. Or do you really want to get that win? Considering where Liverpool are at the moment, to really get a mental victory over them and really disrupt them? It's catch-22 for me, to be honest. Do I want to win the game? Yes. Would I play um, starting 11 that I would that started against Liverpool in the league? No. Um, there's two big games coming up and we can't afford for any injuries to happen. Um, I get what you're saying, and I do want I do want a cup run. I do want FA Cup. I said it's second to the league for us. Uh, do I want it so much that we go and play our strongest side? No, but I do believe that we can mix and match, and try and still try and win it. So we can play a Dean Henderson. We can play a Lindelof. We can play a Tellez. We can play a Donny. We can play a Greenwood. You know what I mean? Like little yep. little bits like that. I think we can do and still like try and win the win the game. Liverpool from the team that they put out against Burnley look as if they're going to be putting their full eleven out against us. Considering they more the or less might have to. Yeah, and I think if Klopp is smart, he's obviously looking at that game to get a disruption over United. Because yeah. chocolates, it's, I know it's not. I know it may not be obvious, but it's a loss. And if you were to lose that game and then you were to have a bad result in midweek, it starts to build. And that's what, you know, oh, yeah. losing does at this stage. 100%. It's I think, it'll I, build the um, perception as well. Yeah, negative exactly. perception I, 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 Sorry. I think the exactly. saving grace, I think the saving grace is that our midweek game is at home to Sheffield United. Mm. I think if, yeah, it was, if, that. if it was a tough away game against like Everton or Leicester or something, then I 100% agree. If we were to lose to Liverpool, I think it would derail us. I think that because we got Sheffield United at home in the week, I think even a loss wouldn't disrupt our momentum too much. But momentum, momentum is key. I don't want to lose the game. I have no interest in losing the game. I want to win the game because I want, I want an FA Cup. But I'm not willing to risk all the big players. So I don't want to see Pogba starting tomorrow. I don't want to see Tony starting tomorrow, and I don't want to see Eric Bailly starting tomorrow. We all they know. Will start though. 
I, nah, I don't. I don't think. Orf, I don't think those three will start. If I'm, I think if I'm they honest, will I don't. Start. I don't, because I don't think, it's a big. It's Liverpool. By by a hundred percent won't start. He'll play Lindelof and Maguire. He won't play Eric Bay. So I know that already. Um, Pogba, Pogba might start. start. Tony won't start. He's gonna go with Rashford and Cavani. That's why Rashford didn't start in midweek because he's mm. gonna go with Rashford, Cavani, and um, probably Greenwood um, as the front three. Um, that's why that's why Rashford didn't start in the midweek. So we can chop and chase. There's gonna be tweaks. We already know De Gea is not gonna start because it's cut game. So Dean Hendon is gonna play. So that's that's not an issue. Um, but I'll, listen, the, the main thing for me is I still want to win the game. I want to get a result. And um, and it is important, but not important enough to play the starting eleven. But the one thing I will say, anyhow, Donny doesn't start this fucking game tomorrow. I swear, I will blow up Ollie's house, bro. I'm <laughs> not even playing because the dish. Like, imagine you're Donny, yeah, and you're watching. But this game of purposes, he's actually bro, joking, bro. But bro, I think. bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're Donny, yeah, and you're watching man like Bruno give away the ball 36 times, bruv. Just imagine it. And you know you got the ball retention to keep things ticking over. And it, like the disrespect Donny gets, yeah, I'm not for it, innit? I'm not for it. And I get that he doesn't want to disrupt what we got going on because we're winning. I get that. But a man can't even get off the bench. Man's watching McMahonese play instead of him, bruv. Do you know how soul-destroying that is? That watching this average... This average Joe just playing <laughs> football instead of you, bro. Like these average ballers, bro. This guy that can't even play a, 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 a pass forward, bro. It's sideways and backwards, like playing ahead of you. Like it is soul destroying. But mm. if Donny doesn't start, fuck all in it. I don't care if we're winning. Like fucking, <laughs> bro. I'm, t- I'm free Donny, bro. Free Donny. <laughs> in my games, but I want to win it, but I'm not willing to risk certain players to start to win it. Fair enough. I Finally, can see United playing a strong lineup and then using mm-hmm. the Sheffield game as as the rest players. To yeah, I, I can see that. Do you know what? Well. Do you know the biggest it's stroke? Simple. Do you know the biggest stroke? That's what I would do. That's what I would do. I'd play our strongest eleven against Liverpool. Yeah. And rest players against Sheffield United. Yeah. But I can see Ole doing it the other way around. And do I have an issue with it? Not really. Because I wouldn't as well. Because the Premier League is just as important, and they need to mm. seize this, the and mm, capitalize seize this the momentum. I, yeah. I, I know the Premier League is important, but then do you go? Do you rest players for this game? Do you play your first team against Sheffield United, and then play your first team against us next week? <laughs> well, this, is, this, play, this is this is why I want first team now. Rest this is why. Week. But this is why. Um, from that, because I'm talking from Oli's perspective. I'm not talking from my own. Me yeah. personally. I play our strongest team against Liverpool, go and beat them up in, in the cup, rest a couple of players against Sheffield United so that we can go into that game against you lot full strength because we got you lot away and then we've got Southampton at home. Yeah, so my whole thing is those two games home. are the most important. Shout yeah. out to Southampton today for doing the thing. One thing mm-hmm. we need you to do on Tuesday Make sure Partey goes off with a hamstring injury on Tuesday. That's all I'm asking from you, lot. I don't care about anyone else. Just make sure Partey goes off with a hamstring injury. He wasn't joking about Tuesday. that. And I'm not joking. Let's get him. Let's get him. We'll get there. Anyway, your prediction for tomorrow then? <laughs> and there's, remember, there's, there's, there's no drawing this time, so there has to be a result. No ease. It's a hard one to call, man. No ease. <laughs> man, so funny, man. <laughs> Penalties. Um, in, in, it's a hard one to call. All right, cool. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> me being <I'm> gonna... me, <laughs> right? You're going to say two to Liverpool. <laughs> you can see Liverpool winning the game, isn't it? <laughs> like, me being me, purely because I have a feeling Ole is going to rest players and Liverpool are going to go full strength. So, okay. me being but... me, yeah, I can see Liverpool win 2 0 in it. The 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 the. You was going for them because Salah ain't performing right now, man. Trent is. They'll find. They'll they'll Trent find ain't doing nothing at the moment. I know. The um, positive the positive me says that we're gonna win two 0 uh-huh. but the neutral me says it's going to penalties, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's gonna be Russian roulette. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, who's scoring for them? To be honest, in that first half against us in the league, in that first half an hour, Firmino yeah. could have had a hat trick. So mm-hmm. it's just a case of whether they take their chances on the day because it's not a case of, like, I think 
what was that game? I think in the was it West Brom? I think in that no, it was Southampton that they played in that Southampton yeah. game. They created they, they didn't create anything. But yeah. in the last couple of games that I've seen, they've created stuff. They just can't score. So yeah. if they take their chances, they can. But and especially because we're going to be at home, which means the onus is on us to attack. Which means Liverpool get more space in behind, right? And it won't be a Rigi running through on goal tomorrow. It won't be a Rigi. It will be a Salah or a Mane. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna go two 0 two one. No, I'm gonna go two one United. Fair enough. Um, it's a hard one. As you said, I think it comes down to the it's team. I yeah. think for me, whoever plays the strongest team wins. I, I, I don't know who's gonna play the strongest team. I don't know if Liverpool are gonna rest. I don't know if Man United. But for me, whoever plays this, whoever plays the strongest team, is gonna win the game for me. So. Whoever it is that uh, Liverpool have got um, it's Spurs right midweek. Yeah, yeah. There's a harder game for them. Yeah, but they don't play. But, yeah, but they don't play till Thursday. Yeah. Okay. They don't play till Thursday, so that's all right. And Klopp, and Klopp really, really does that much changes anyway. 